All right. Uh, just gonna show uh, my Yoda epoxy painted picture. Finished him last night. Well, he's finished this morning, I guess. I, I put on the second coat last night, of the epoxy. Ah, it's getting there. About 90% dried out. Um, if you haven't done an epoxy painting, um, you're going to need to get the mixture of the epoxy resin, the hardener, yeah, there's a two-part two-part deal to it. Look for the ones that is 50-50, so it's one part and one part mixture. Don't get the two-in-one. I, I just find, find that to be a little bit more, I don't know. I don't like adding and figuring things out with parts. If it's 50-50, good, we're good. We're, bad. we're in the ballpark. Um, yep, so... If you haven't done it, this is my little ghetto setup. I don't have anything professional here or like some sort of crazy studio. Uh, be careful. Get a bag down, um, a large bag, a shower curtain, something, um, and make sure that it doesn't uh, drip off onto the floor. The stuff is very sticky. It's very, uh, don't you don't want to get it on your floor. You don't want to get it on anything besides your painting. And this is going to be going in the garbage. Um, I have this leveled up. Make sure that you have it on a level and that um, you can take it off easily. So it's, I got some tape under there so it will come off. Make sure that this, make sure your painting is never on the plastic. It, this, it, this will, it's stuck to that and then you're going to have yourself a nightmare trying to get it off of here. Uh, especially when it hardens up like this. See it's all hard now. That will be on your painting, and you're going to be trying to chip that off. It's going to be, I've learned my lesson from that, trust me. Please take my advice. Put it on a pillar or something like this. Um, that's about it. So, uh, let's see. So, I'll do the mixture. I'll put it on there. Spread it on there. Spread it with a little spreader. Um, you know, you can go to the dollar store. So the dollar store is your friend when it comes to doing this stuff. You find all the stuff at the dollar store. Whatever you do, do not buy uh, a measuring cup that is a glass, okay? Because usually what I do is I throw them away. Um, I'll just show you over here real quick. I, I got everything in here. When you're done, this is toxic stuff. So, you know, I, I got, I still got a little bit left in there of my, my mixture. Here's a... Uh, here it is. So I, I got myself a plastic bucket. I, think I got a couple left still. That's what I do my mixing in. Um, get a stir stick. So you can get some stir sticks from uh, Walmart for free. Get yourself probably five of them so you won't be stuck next time looking for a stir stick. Um, here's my other one that I finished. So I did two coats. And then when I'm done, I, I bag it up. Everything is kind of going in there, okay? Uh, we don't let the stuff hang around in the house. It's pretty toxic. You don't really want to be smelling the stuff. Um, I do have a, a, a mask that I put on. And so when you're going to mix it up, you're mixing it up in your... Well, measure it out first, the proper measurement. Uh, you're going to have to read up on it in your size of painting, so everything's not the same. Mix it up. Put it together right away in your little container that I showed you, something and throw the mixing thing away. They got them at the dollar store for a dollar. You do not need to hold on to that. Um, and throw it all in the bag. Then you mix it up really well, both at 50-50, whatever you're doing. Mix it up really, really well, probably for a, about a good four minutes at least. There's gonna try to get all the bubbles out, incorporate everything, mix it up very well, get all the sides and everything out of there. Then. You, you're going to put everything in there right away. Just dump it all on there. Make sure that this is clean. There's no hairs. Just kind of give it a good clean off before you start doing anything, okay? And then pour the stuff on there right away. Don't You don't hang around. You're not going to go and, you know, change a kid's diaper or something like that. You need to get this done right away. So what I usually do is I'll have a bag, plastic Walmart bags all over here. I'll have my, let's say this is the container, the big container over there. That I'm doing my mixing my bottles are over here so in case that it does drip or anything like that everything is on the Walmart bag okay and then I have um, another bag kind of open in here and then when I'm done with this everything that I'm done mixing and everything goes into that bag that I showed you and then we just seal it up toss it out I always have myself um, some wet wipes 
in case something drips, I can quick grab this and clean that up instead of if you, oh my God, you see something dripping a little bit later. Oh, I don't have time, I'm doing this. Well, now you have something ready, grab it, clean it, throw it back to your project right away. Um, that is good advice right there. And uh, I've seen some videos where they're using torch, uh, like a torch thing, I'll show you. Because after you get this all incorporated, make this is make sure this is on a flat surface. Uh, it's level. Use a leveler. Um, let me show you something. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I should probably have this ready. This is what I seen when I first started doing it, and I was using these. Okay, these little torches things. Don't use this. This is a waste of time. It's a waste of money. When you start going like this, and you're doing it for a while, it starts cutting out. And then you're constantly trying to light it. It's it's just not getting that air or whatever. You know, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know why it's not not working. Okay, I really don't care. I just know that it's not working anymore. It'll work for probably a good couple minutes, and then it starts cutting out. Long story short, get yourself a heat gun. Okay, there's a heat gun. This Wagner gun. Uh, it's got all different types of levels on there. Wonderful. This is the best thing. Don't use this use this I'll have it ready I always got it ready to plug in I'm going around and then when you're done spreading this all on there nice and evenly remember we're working kind of quickly here you got about a half hour window but it starts really settling down within a few minutes really um, it's it's a it's a crazy mixture so make sure you spread it all evenly okay get your spreader or like a plastic flat thing that you can get at the dollar store um, and spread this okay nice and easy take your oh i also forgot don't forget use some plastic gloves okay plastic gloves you can get those at work or ask your buddy or i'm sure they got them at walmart or someplace get some gloves this will all start dripping down okay from everything when you're done with this spreading this do not touch anything on here okay you want to leave this it might start looking like it's got a smudge or something or a little blotchy thing over here but this is all gonna level itself out okay you just leave this alone don't touch it okay make us a coffee here sorry about the noise so then it's gonna start dripping over here right use your glove after you're done spreading and go around it and make sure you kind of give it a nice you know a nice layer sort of to the side as well don't neglect the sides we need the sides this will start dripping down um, you can use a little saw thing to cut that off like a little mini thing later on if you get big drips but what I do is I usually just go over it once or twice and then uh, maybe about 10 minutes later you know more starting to drip down then you just kind of go over that again and use your finger and take that off throw away the glove we don't need the gloves okay throw that away in the garbage then uh, just kind of keep an eye on it, that's fine. But going back to what I was saying, after you get everything spread and everything's nicely done, use your heat gun immediately, okay? Because you're gonna see a bunch of little mega bubbles, micro bubbles everywhere on this thing, huge, like lots. So grab your heat gun, put it on super high, and just go over it like this. You can get close to it, that's fine. I mean, and see, you'll still have a little bit of uh, dust specks on there. Try not to have your heater blowing next to it. I learned that I should. I don't have it on then. I turn the whole, everything's off. Um, don't have a fan going, don't have nothing, don't have your cat around here. You want this to be with nobody around. I usually just go in that other room over there and I just let this thing sit all night. Don't touch it, just leave it alone. Make sure you got your heat gun going, keep going all the way around. Make sure you get in the middle, everywhere that you can't see. Get down there so that you can make sure that you see the bubbles. You'll start seeing them all disappear. It's gonna be wonderful. When you're done with that, you put that away. Don't, and just kind of give it another glimpse around. Make sure everything's okay. Maybe if you want, uh, grab your gloves. Give it a nice little thing, a nice little swipe across. Just be careful, okay? Make sure that this is level. I don't want this when you're doing this, and all of a sudden, this, you know, it was maybe too close under here, and then it will just tip over. That would be a nightmare, okay? I would not want to do that. I'd be really upset. So make sure that everything is okay, and nothing is going to fall. We're good. Um, and that's about it for that, okay? And you're just going to leave this. Um, I did this last night at about 8.30. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Um... Now it's 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 pretty dry. I'll still leave it over here for another, hmm, I don't know, 
five hours, six hours, and then I'll transfer it into my on my bed. I'll take off the sheets and everything, and I'll just lay it on the bed. Um, it should be good. It shouldn't be sticking, and uh, I'll let it cure over there for another day, and then pretty much it's ready to hang up. Remember, two coats. Use two coats on it, okay? Um, the first one is going to be your just chill coat, and you might see a couple little blotches and stuff like that. If 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 the mixture wasn't done right, you're going to have to. It's, it's going to be a learning experience. It's not going to be as easy as you think it is. Sometimes you will say, "Why is this not? Why did it not cover over here?" Well, then you didn't make enough, or why do I have a huge blotch over here? Well, then you over made your mixture. Okay. So just, it's a little work in progress, and you're, you're, you know, working on things, and it's not very easy because it's a time-consuming waiting deal. Um, so that's why I'm saying, you know, just learn from your mistakes. I have done this so many times, and it is just a pain in the butt. But now I think I've perfected it. The only thing I don't have is like a, an air... Uh, proof sort of uh, dust room, okay? I, you know, you still get a couple little little dust specks, but you know, there's nothing I can do about it. From far away, it's just fine, okay? Nobody's gonna yell at you. So I, I suggest try it on a, maybe on a on a simple painting. Um, here's my other picture. I'll show you. I did this one with epoxy too. So that one's up there. It's a nice big painting. Gives it that nice mirror shine. I was going to do some on some of my other stuff, but then I was like, nah, forget about it. I was going to do on boba, but I was like, nah, boba looks good, dry. So, you know, so, this goes with some of the stuff. I mean, some stuff it will look good on, some stuff you don't want to. If you have a painting with a lot of white on it, you might want to read up on it because I heard that after years, the 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 epoxy starts to kind of fade a little bit and the white will start to go to a yellowish sort of tint so if i were you i'd, I'd be careful if you have a, a big white painting um might want to read up a little bit more on it and that's about it um other than that make sure it's ventilated open up a window uh wear a mask okay and um Make sure I sometimes I'll, I'll always put a hat on my head so I got a hat on so none of my hair falls on the painting. I'll usually brush off my shirt before I start. I'll brush off my arms and I don't want any hair falling on this, okay? I give it a good clean swipe down. After everything is done, you can deliver this to whoever you want and make sure that you put a, you can clean it off and uh, tell them they can clean it with a, a glass cleaner, okay? Tell them to use glass cleaner. Uh, and then. Uh, they can kind of keep it looking real nice. Look at Yoda, huh? Look at this. This is, this is a pretty nice epoxy painting, I gotta say. Came out really nice. So, yeah. Remember, two coats, all right? You can find the stuff actually on eBay, okay? You can get this epoxy on eBay. It's 50-50. You can find a two-gallon thing for about 100 bucks, 90 bucks, okay? You can go on epoxyresin.com. They're cool too. Like I'm, I'm not gonna say anything bad about the company, but it is almost like twice as much. It's like two hundred dollars for a two gallon setup. But you can go and find this cheaper stuff. Look at I mean, this is the cheaper stuff that I bought, and same stuff. I mean, you you really don't need to overspend anything. If I were you, I would just go on eBay. There's a you'll see it. Just type under epoxy resin, and you'll see uh, construction stuff. It's the same shit, okay? It's the same stuff. So just go under there and look for the one that says 50-50, okay? 50-50. Uh, if you get the one gallon, that means you're getting half of it, though. You're, only, you're not getting a one gallon and a one gallon, okay? If you're getting two gallons, you're getting one gallon and, and one gallon, okay? Did I say that right? Yeah, no. So if you got the one gallon... You're thinking, okay, it looks like there's two one gallons, but there's only half of it. It's not that big. If you get the two gallon, then it's going to be, oh, whatever. God damn it, I can't explain it. Wait, I'm just going to bring this over here, okay? <laughs> I, just, I can't believe it. Oh. This was the one gallon setup. This is not a gallon, okay? This is, this is like a smaller smaller little jug okay so it's 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 half of it of a big gallon so you get half of what you it says on there so you got a 64 ounce in here you know 
and the smaller ones. I guess I should have probably left that part out, but I don't know. So for a big painting like this, just to let you know, it's going to be about, you're gonna to have to order the gallon, the gallon, okay? Because you're using two applications on it, okay? So it should be about that, that area. For the one gallon, it's gonna be about 60 bucks, okay? One gallon's gonna be about 60 bucks. I think two gallons is gonna be about 100 bucks. Man, I think I just, you're gonna have to check it out, okay? You just do the homework, okay? You just do the homework and figure it out, okay? I'm just here just to try to explain how to do this. So, uh, yeah, go on uh, eBay. Other than that, it's good. Make sure we don't have any pets and uh, we don't want anything hopping on this thing. Um, anything else I need to tell you? Probably not. Okay, anyways, I hope uh, this video is helpful. I know it's a ghetto ghetto video. This is not like some crazy uh, I'm not some crazy great person here to try to explain stuff, but it is um, It is helpful in a way my little my little tidbits that I did explain earlier I hope that you take those in consideration when you're starting your epoxy if you want message me a question I'll do I'll answer to the best I can. I mean, I'm not some I can't, I can't give you the greatest uh, the greatest information, but I'll try my best so Yep, that's about it.